Good evening, everyone. A big change starting this week in how we treat 16-year-olds who break the law. A new law called Raise the Age will send many teenagers through family court instead of criminal court. That'll usually mean a different kind of detention and treatment. Ashley Edlin found out this change comes with some strain and questions about funding. She joins us now live from the Monroe County office building with more. Ashley. Well, child care agencies say this is a great thing, but Monroe County officials say not so fast. They tell us this has added enormous pressure to their shoulders financially and logistically. This detention facility for youthful nonviolent offenders opened yesterday in Rush. It was a requirement of the Raise the Age legislation, a new state law that takes 16 year olds out of the adult criminal justice system. Maria Cristalli with Hillside Family of Agencies says they feel like it's a win for everyone involved. This is a terrific change for kids. It will allow us and 12 other peer providers across New York State to open new programming that began just yesterday. But not everyone is celebrating. A Monroe County spokesperson says state agencies delayed construction on the facility in Rush multiple times this past year, making it hard to meet the deadline of October 1st. They also estimate this will cost taxpayers more than $20 million, saying, quote, while the state has promised to reimburse counties in full for these costs, Albany has a well-deserved reputation for launching major programs and sticking local taxpayers with the bill later. Monroe County will be monitoring our expenses closely. We asked Elaine Spall with the Center for Youth about the cost and the added pressure. Anything new uh, has ups and downs. We're going to have to be patient over the next three or four months, but I know family court is getting ready. Uh, our probation people, our teen court is getting ready. Spall added her organization is expecting a grant to help with the cost. We're told that facility in Rush has one adolescent offender right now. We're also told that they have nine beds currently. Adam. Very interesting. Ashley Edlund reporting. We're told work on the facility in Rush is not over. Immediate next steps include adding more beds to an existing building and adding a brand new building. That's set to be completed by fall of 2019. The same year, 17-year-olds will be treated like 16-year-olds are now.